Hi, I'm Jay, and today on Jay's World Kitchen, we're making Cook Sisters. Sisters are a traditional South African dish uh, that's really a treat that everyone absolutely loves and there's a plethora of recipes out there every family has one that's slightly different this recipe is very very simple uh, easy to put together and very 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 delicious I bet you can't have just one let's have a look at the ingredients two components to this recipe. The first is a simple syrup and the second is a dough. So for the syrup you're going to need one and a half cups of water, four cups of sugar, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, half a teaspoon of ground ginger and some cinnamon sticks. For the dough you're going to need three cups of flour, six teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of butter, two eggs and about a cup of milk and some oil for deep frying, but we'll get to that later. To make the simple syrup, you're going to start off by throwing your two, one and a half cups of water on the stove into a deep saucepan, followed by your four cups of sugar, your cream of tartar, your ground ginger, and your cinnamon sticks. You want to stir this until the sugar is almost completely dissolved and then leave it to boil for precisely five minutes. Uh, don't stir it after it starts boiling, just leave it for five minutes to boil and then remove your cinnamon sticks and here's the important part. After that you're going to throw it in the fridge uh, and let it get super super cold and actually what I'm going to do is right before I use it I'm going to throw it in the freezer uh, so that it stays very very cold. The important thing here is that when we do our uh, take our dough out of the oil it goes straight into that ice cold syrup. So that's how you get a simple syrup together. To throw together this dough is pretty straightforward. You're going to use three cups of sifted flour and what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting our eggs and our milk together and just slightly whisking those up just until they are well mixed and set that aside and go back to our flour and into this we're going to sprinkle our baking powder and our salts. And now just using your hands we're going to take our room temperature butter because it's just easier to work with and we're going to make that into a dough. You're going to rub that in together so that it makes a crumbly dough. And once all that butter is incorporated, I'm going to kind of make a well in the middle there. And add your milk and egg mixture a little at a time. And just stir that all together. And you can use your hands if you want because I find it easier. It will make quite a sticky dough, that's okay. The more you knead it, the more it'll come together, but you don't want to over knead it, you don't want it to become hard, but you do want it smooth. And once it's come together, you're going to cover it with some plastic wrap and a towel and leave it for about an hour just to rest. 
So our cook sister dough has been resting for about an hour and uh, it doesn't rise very much so don't be worried if it doesn't rise on you. But what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap it and now we're going to roll it out. So once again we're going to flour our surface and it doesn't need a lot of kneading or anything like that. Uh, we're going to roll this out to approximately um, one centimeter or about just under half an inch uh, thick and now we're going to cut our cook sisters and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into approximately three inches by one inch or eight centimeters by two and a half centimeters um, and cutting it into strips first make it a little easier And once we've got approximately one by three inches, you're going to take your knife and slice it down, leaving the one side attached into three. Very, very simple. And now we're going to braid each piece. It's been a while since I've braided, so forgive me if it looks a little sloppy. But you're just going to braid it like that and then press the end together and you're going to repeat that for the rest of your dough. Put it aside on a baking sheet until we're ready to deep fry. So in the meantime, we've got our oil on the stove and we're going to heat it up to about 375 degrees. All right, so now our oil is probably a little higher than it should be, but around 375 degrees. We've also got our syrup right next to it, um, which is ice cold and I've actually packed it in ice. Um, but what uh, someone suggested is putting uh, the syrup separately, um, like separating it into two, keeping one half in the fridge because as, obviously as you're throwing warm stuff in there, it's going to get warmer. Um, but you want to keep it as cold as possible. This syrup is nice and thick and that's what we want. Very simply, you're just going to throw your cook sisters into the hot oil and let them fry for a few moments. And you want to do them just a one or two at a time. You don't want to um, do too many at a time. And flip them over. You want them to be like a nice golden brown. And as you can see, this one's turning that golden brown very, very fast. And I'm going to throw in a second one now that I've turned the first one over. Let that fry. And our first one is just about done. So we're going to flip over the second one. We're going to grab one end of our Coke sister like this, nice and hot, and dunk it right into that syrup as far as fast as you can and as deep as you can. It's going to sizzle a little bit, that's fine. Take it out right away, and then we're going to put it onto a, onto a parchment lined um, baking sheet. And once again, out of the oil and straight into the syrup. Dunk it in completely. And repeat obviously until all of your dough is cooked. And then enjoy. quite a decent haul of cook sisters um, and I am I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for these um, this is a, a treat for me this is a treat for anyone who's from South Africa and if you haven't tried it you really have to let's break into one uh, there's no clean way to eat these um, but they're nice still nice and warm um, that syrup is aromatic you can just just get a hint of that uh, ginger in there and what you want is a nice crunchy outside and a slightly doughy inside mm. there's got to be a thousand childhood memories coming back to me now those are incredible You've got to try these. 
be prepared get your hands in there get dirty and just enjoy that is phenomenal you've got to try them and if you do i really want to know how they turned out for you please remember if you haven't already if you enjoyed this video hit that like button hit the subscribe button and remember that you can follow me on my social media all those links are down below in the comment section as well as the link to my patreon thanks so much for watching and until next time